All right, we start off tonight with our baked falafel. And so I think it's relatively fair to say this is kind of like a, a Middle Eastern fast food, yes. um, often fried, but, yes. but we're going to uh, try it this baked way. Yes. So maybe a little bit more sort of like health uh, conscious uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, definitely a little more health that, conscious. Yeah? Okay. Um, but I like it also because it's a little more hands off. Um, okay. If you're uncomfortable with frying oil or maintaining that temperature and the whole splatter thing. it's a thing. thing. It's definitely it is a, a thing. thing. And yeah. if you're not comfortable with that, then this is like a super great alternative. Um, and all you have to do is put them in the oven and let them do their thing. And then they're really good to go. Okay. Like yeah. that. Like that. So we're going to start with actually um, chickpeas and fava beans today. Because usually it's just uh, chickpeas, right? That's yeah. right. It usually is just chickpeas. Um, but we've added some fava beans in there grown here in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're also going to give us a little extra different nutrition, um, along with the protein and fiber that's uh, inherent to all the beans that we use. It also is going to give us great B vitamins like folate. And you had said fava and fava beans yes. are the same thing. They are the same thing. Okay. Interchangeable. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've got them already in the food processor here. They're kind of um, already mixed up a little bit nice and blended. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're gonna add. Okay. So we need some flavor in there. Um, and I'm gonna start with the red onions and garlic. I've got just a small amount of red onion. That's a pretty powerful flavor. Sure. Um, but garlic, we love the garlic. So um, I'm gonna add that in here, like that. I've got cumin and salt. Wanna make sure that that cumin also has that kind of Middle Eastern Absolutely. flavor. It's a really nice warm spice. So yes. we're gonna add that in here. Uh, some fresh parsley. And then it looks like lemon juice, and which again, you can't really do without, right? Fresh lemon juice, yeah. absolutely. So um, as for the liquid in here, you want to be really careful about um, how much you're adding and the texture of the falafel. But I'm going to blitz this first, and then we can talk a little bit more okay. about that, because we're going to need to add a little bit more. All right. All right, so this might take a couple tries. We're gonna because you just like you don't want it to be glo like gloppy. No, we don't want it to be gloppy, but you also don't want it to be super dry and crumbly either. Right. Um, something you might want to take a look for is uh, if you've ever baked shortbread or mm -hmm. anything like that. That kind of feeling in your hands when it comes together, mm -hmm. but you can still kind of crumble it. Yes. Yeah. That's what we're looking for here. Okay. So I know I've already added some liquid here, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna add just a, like a little bit of oil. I would say up to about a tablespoon. Okay. And then we're gonna see what that does. And if we need to, we can add a little bit of water. But okay. again, that's where you wanna be very careful about uh, the liquid. Okay. So you can see it's blending in there. Now, I'm gonna lift this out. That way I don't have to take the lid off again. Yeah. But I'm gonna add I love these things. Yeah. I don't know, because I actually did <laughs> exist before having one and I, you know, somehow managed to cook things. But like for a recipe like this, yeah, these are so, easy. so helpful. I'm gonna put that back on. Uh, yeah, just in case, just maybe. In case. There we go. It's starting to take. You don't want any too big clumps either in there because mm -hmm. that's um, a lot of flavor in one bite. Mm -hmm. So we got the locally produced, uh, you know, beans, of course, and then we've got the canola oil uh, also, you know, um, produced right here in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. There's another spin. All right, Elizabeth Harms committed to excellence, but I think we've, like, we like we probably have enough yeah. in here to make totally. at least a few, right? I'm gonna scrape this down a little bit, a little bit, and then I'm gonna pull this baby out. There we go. Okay. All right. So is this a hands thing? You know what? It could be either. Whatever you're comfortable with. If you want to get the family involved, that's a great way to get them involved. Fun. Um, if you're going to get the family involved, though, I would highly recommend either you dump this into a new bowl, you take the oh, blade gosh. out, and oh. you completely put it into the sink, or yeah. far, far away from little I'm, fingers. Frankly, I'm a little nervous about you putting your hands anywhere um, near that yes. as it is. Uh, but we have got a couple of options how, how you can do this. Okay. You can do it hands all no all day, no problem. Uh, if you've got like a little scoop like this, yeah. um, you can do that as well. Um, but I think today we're just going to stick with our good old-fashioned spoon, yeah. and we're going to make some patties yeah. or balls, however you like, mm -hmm. um, that way. So, 
got a cookie sheet here. We've got parchment paper on here, but you can also, um, if you don't have any parchment paper or prefer not to use it, you can also just put a little bit of canola oil on there, brush it around, and that's also going to give you a nice little crispy, crispy. edges yeah. on the bottom that's when cool. you're baking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So super high in protein, and um, also these, I guess, are, are they vegan, are they not? Or they vegetarian, are certainly. Yeah, they are. So that's kind of a nice thing yeah. as so well. So when you scoop it out, you can make them however big or small you like. Mm -hmm. I like to kind of stick with that size, and then you can use the back of your spoon to... Kind of smooth it out there, mm -hmm. and uh, however many you can fit on the on the cookie sheet. Okay, so it looks like maybe about eight, eight yeah. or so, ten. Okay, but I think you've got some prepared in the oven, do you? I oh, sure okay. do. Should I go get those? Sure. Or are we going to so, wait to put these in? So um, in the oven, yeah, actually, you can want to pull them out. That's okay. I think we'll just stick with six for okay. this. Okay. Well, for I'll wait round. and then I can swap them out. How about that? A little bit more to that one. Okay. Make it nice little flat. There we go. Committed E for I excellence. Am. E yeah. for Elizabeth. Okay. There we go. All right. So, so we've got the oven preset to 375. There we go. Just pop those and, in. And um, you want to cook them for about 25 to 30 minutes, but you want to make sure that halfway through you're going to flip them so both sides get nice and crispy. Um, and you get really nice brown edges like you see here. Okay, all yeah. right. And then we have, um, you know, all of this wonderfulness yeah. to... Okay. So I'm going to let you build your own here, okay. which is kind of the glory of this recipe for me anyways. Well, um, I'm, okay, I'm just realizing yeah. that we don't have a spoon, so maybe this? I could do that. Well, you know what I was going to actually say oh, was... Oh, there it is. Okay. It's, there, you go. there you go. Okay, so I'll put that down there. So sorry, I interrupted you completely. No, that's okay. So the recipe itself makes about 12 to 15 pieces, which um, gives you leftover options, gives you options for your whole family, um, and really just allows you to build it however you'd like. However you'd like. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just maybe, yeah, use one of those because I'm going to want to burn myself. Okay, so I'm going to have a bite of this. We'll give you the uh, full syn falafel synopsis when we return. Uh, and also when we return, we're on to our next recipe, which is red beans and rice. Yeah. You're on Great Taste of Manitoba. Don't go away. We appreciate you, whether you're new to this channel or a long time viewer. If you'd like to join us in the kitchen regularly and meet farm families across Manitoba, please subscribe. We share new videos every Sunday.